Brian, come on. We need to get ready to go. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Brian, come on. You need to get ready. Come on, son. She called me at work. And you know I can't take calls at work. I know. I gotta go. Love you. Why can't I ride my scooter? Why can't I ride my scooter? Why can't I ride my scooter? Come on, answer me. Let me ride my scooter. Let me ride my scooter. Last night, where the select board fired the manager, camera guy forgot to hit record. You gotta be kidding me. There's more. What do you mean more? Well, you see, he uh, felt pretty bad, so he went to the bar. He got drunk and threw up in the camera bag. I think the camera's okay, but anyways, it's on your desk. Oh, I'll be right back. I need coffee. I don't know what to do. I'm at the end of my rope. I need to keep the station running. And I need to do distance learning with my son. It's hard to get anything done. Yeah. Yeah, I, I need to think outside the box. I need to bring in help. It's a great idea. Brilliant. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? Manslin, you're great. You are so easy to talk to. Hey, Colin. Good news. We're starting a new program here at the station. Really? What is it? You ever hear of a JSI? JSI? Nope. It stands for Job Shadowing Internship. An intern comes in, job shadows one of us, learns what the job's all about, gets some great experience. A lot of forward-looking companies are doing this now. How is that going to work here? There are only two of us. See, that's the beauty of it. Brian. Job shadows me. He learns how to lead a dedicated workforce in a high-tech environment. And you can put it on your resume. You believe this bulk? Making up some job shadowing internship. But you got me to babysit his kid? What does he think this is? You got that right. Lord have pity on the working man. Yes, yes, I know. I need the job. The kid's not that bad. Just deal with it. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Wonderful new program. I can't wait for the opportunity. 
That's the spirit. No point in wasting time. Might as well start now, you know, for maximum benefit. That's what I thought. Maximum benefit. Yeah. All right, then. I gotta get this equipment over for the school board meeting. But, uh, you know, you two just settle in to the new program. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll catch some lunch. Or scout some location. Oh, Brian. Yeah. You should watch these videos. Get up to speed on how to work in an office. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Stuck in a rush. Stuck with a plan. Hello, Peter. What's happening? Uh, we have sort of a problem of here. Yeah, you apparently didn't put one of the new cover sheets on your TPS reports. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. I, I forgot. Yeah. is a Place really sucks. My life really sucks. You know I kind of want to die. so good last night. It was amazing. What was that pasta called again? No, we really need to do that again sometime. So, Mr. Kimball, when you finish your little chat, maybe you can get to work on those TPM reports. TPM reports? Never mind. What are you doing after your break? Well, if you really want to know, boss, I'm cleaning out the email. Don't need anyone clicking on spam. Really? Well, I can do that. Now yeah, I see the trash is full. Why don't you get busy and empty it? Seriously? Take up the trash. Seriously, I don't need you clicking on the wrong thing. That could be really bad. Right. I got this. Take care of the trash. Don't make me make my dad fire you. I'll be right back in a while. Can watch this one episode of The Apprentice on YouTube. Thinks he's the boss. Well, he can show up his TPM report. <sighs> yeah, yeah, it's a classic case of nepotism. I'll tell you what, he can wait for me to take my sweet time getting back. Spielberg is going on here! I don't know, I just slept for 
two minutes. Oh, he got sucked in. What? Did Brian get sucked into a, a rift in the space-time continuum? Occupied by the spirits of the recent dead who can't cross over to the other side? Tormented by malevolent spirits to antagonize everyone who enters? I don't know if I put it that way. This is a mess! What am I going to tell the board about the wrecked station? What am I going to tell the landlord? What am I going to tell my wife? You should probably start with, Honey, I'm sorry I let the demons take our kid. Are you insane? How are we going to fix this? I got it. Let's ask the boss. Oh, right. Dirty. Dirty, dirty. If you're suggesting that we bring in Gertrude Hurdy Gurdy Gallagher, famed mystic, medium, and astrophysicist, this must be mushrooms on that pizza instead of pepperoni. Nobody knows how to find her. She might not even be real. Gentlemen, the suit is pentacles, and I'll start us off with a two. I've got an ace of pentacles. <laughs> if you're gonna go that hard, so I'll just go ahead and clear that with the lovers and play my three of pentacles. Thank you. Well, you've always been busy here. <laughs> Smells like old socks and dug up corpses. You must be planning a wild Halloween. <laughs> oh, hey, Slim. Well, how they hanging? I'm surprised they found all your parts after that seven seal job. <laughs> so what's going down? Boy pushed the wrong button. Got sucked in. Well, you still managed to push all my buttons, you old goat. <laughs> <clears throat> Who are the stiffs? Well, I am the chief executive officer here and also the station manager. This is Colin, the technical director. It was Colin who managed to lose my son. Well, those are some fancy titles and a dandy piece of finger pointing you did right there. But let's just get one thing straight. This is my ballpark and this is my ball game. And in this game, I'm the pitcher the catcher, and the ump. And in this game, we play by my rules, and we do what I say, exactly what I say. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Miss Kirby. Good. Okay, let's get started. Eat this. Some sort of spiritual word to protect us from evil? No! Pickled eggs! You are so gullible! Did your mothers drop you on your heads? Show me the room. Well, there's a dangerous amount of free energy floating around in there. It comes from the shows that were never broadcast. Rest. Too much energy has been built up. Are those bubbles? Yeah. Lloyd Lawrence and Intercept. Oh, is that a dancing blue bunny on the steps? Yeah. Mike Smith. You guys are sick. Well, normally we could bleed off the energy with a watch party or a marathon, but this? Someone's gonna have to go in. This looks like a class three Betamax poltergeist. I haven't seen one of those since Laverne met Shirley. Is that good or bad? It's really bad. If it could be anything else, even a, a class four eight track elemental, we could do a smash and grab operation, blow up the front door with a deck cord, go in, clean some clocks, 
bring the boy back. That's a great idea. Why don't we do that? <clears throat> Have you ever heard of the eruption of Mount St. Helens? Yeah. <sighs> well, that's what happened the last time someone messed with a Class 3 Betamax poltergeist. No, this is going to be tricky. I think we need to do a quid pro quo. Isn't that illegal? Quiz? No, did you two sleep through school? No, we need to do an exchange. We need to trade two things of equal value. What's of equal value to a little boy? Good question. I think we need a golem. My precious! No! Not a golem, a golem! Facsimile of a human being made out of inanimate objects. Like a scarecrow. A crude example, but yes. Well, where are we going to find something like that in a backwater village like Rocking Falls? Excuse me. Huh. Well, this will do nicely. Oh, Slim, always with the surprises. Now, we need some disguises. Disguises? Yes, disguises. These are angry video spirits. They are not going to welcome a station manager in his minion for not broadcasting their shows. They will tear you apart. You need to fit in. Now, don't you have any costumes from old shows you broadcast? There were these two guys that dressed up as Lewis and Clark for that Brokeback Mountain Spaghetti Dinner PSA. Oh, what about the Tornado Brothers? The two Mexican wrestlers that wanted Jake to make them famous. I think they just met past the window. No, it can't be anyone in there. Okay, wait. There's a, a Bollywood sketch that we did for the No Film Film Festival. Remember we were going to clean out the studio, but then we didn't? But I saw some turbans back there from that sketch. There were so many characters, nobody's going to notice three or four more. Okay, boys. Let's suit up. Hi, sweetie. No, I didn't forget about the hair appointment. It's just... No, something came up at this... No, it's... Okay. Okay, I will. Love you. Marriage counseling in this life and the next? Evil spirits are nothing compared to an angry spouse. This is it! D-Day, H-Hour, oh, dark 30. Time is up! Last minute instructions. Don't let go of the rope! This rope is your only connection to this reality! Trust the rope! You understand me? Don't let go of the rope! Let's go! Oh, dang, Mavic Slim! You had one job! Just one job! And you tied a square knot. This is like the Slavovian schmoes. <sighs> Why did you have to go all Gordian on me? I'm sorry, Miss Gertie. It won't happen again. Dying in your beds, many years from now, would you be willing to trade all days from this day to that for one chance? Only one chance to come back here. To ask our enemies 
They may take our lives. Hey, it's Braveheart, right? <sighs> A day will never pass from today until the end of the world without us being remembered. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers. The man who shed blood with me. Richard the Third. Is your speech over? Over? Did you say over? What? It's not over until we decide it's over. Did the Germans bomb Pearl Harbor and say it was over? No! Hell no! When the going gets tough, the tough get going. Come on! Let's do this thing! Come on! Pluto! Animal House! Let's do this thing! Yeah! yeah. apology. Oh, honey, I'm sorry I let the demons take our kid. You are going to have to do a lot more groveling and a lot more work. Starting with sleeping on the couch for a week. And then you're going to do all the things that I have to do to keep our household running. You're going to do the shopping and the cleaning and the laundry and the dishes. 
You're going to walk the dog. You're going to take out the trash. You're going to help Brian with his remote learning. And you're going to go to work. And then maybe I'll be ready for an apology that is sufficient enough for me that you tried to save our child with some washed up psychic, your burnout employee, and fatso over here. Uh, it's Slim. Sorry. Slim. Let's go home, baby. Daddy's got some cleaning up to do. And, uh, I'm not making dinner tonight. You are. job's done here. Oh, I was thinking of heading south, you know, to Valparaiso. Check out some of that chupacabra action down there. <laughs> it was good seeing you, Gertie. Oh, Seems like old times. It's always good to see you too, Slim. Well, maybe I'll see some of your teammates while I'm growing around. <laughs> if they got all their parts. See ya. Gentlemen, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for saving or attempting to save my son. I have just one more favor to ask of you. I could really use some help cleaning up the studio. Oh, look at the time. My shift's over. <coughs> <coughs> I forgot to tell you. <coughs> I wasn't feeling very good this morning, and it's, it's just getting worse. I should, it could be the COVID. I should probably go before I get anyone sick. 